If you want to solve this equation sine of x equal to minus a half, you can put into your calculator to find the inverse sign of minus a half. But it doesn't give you the whole picture. It just gives you one value. Uh, there's actually an infinite number of solutions to the equation. And the way that we can see this is by taking a look at the green graph here of sine of x. Sine of x is equal to minus a half any time the green curve cuts the line minus a half. So you can see, even on the picture that I've drawn here, where we've only got part of the whole sine of x curve, there's quite a number already of places where the curve, the green one, cuts the line y equal to minus a half. And you can imagine if you were able to draw the entire sine curve, which goes on forever towards positive infinity and forever towards minus infinity, that you'd get infinitely many of these points where the curve cuts over the line y equal to minus a half.